The fiber laser from am.zero.za is truly remarkable. And today, I'm gonna to show you how to do awesome laser artifacts by playing around with the power and frequency settings. Let's get to it. So as always, always starts with the artwork. So let's get into it. So I'm looking for black and white line work tattoo art for this project. Uh, obviously you guys can use whatever you want as long as it's black and white. If it's not, you'll have to take it into Photoshop and convert it to a black and white image before you take it into AR. Now that I've got my artwork, I'm gonna open it up in AR. First things first is you guys are gonna to have to trace your images. So we're gonna to go to Object, Find Image Trace, Make, Enter OK. Now once the, tr the image has been traced, we're gonna go back to Object and you're gonna see there's an expand. We're gonna expand the image. I'm gonna to have to use the magic wand tool to remove the background. I'm gonna click on our image where the white is and I'm gonna say delete. Just gonna select the image, hold shift just to size it up so it fits in our page. And there you go, your image is now vectorized. And once you're done vectorizing it, you're gonna to have to export it as a vector file to pull into your label mark program for your fiber laser. So I'm just gonna turn on the machine so it links up with the software. Right, now that label mark's open, we are going to import by going to draw and then we can either say image file or vector file. So we're going to go vector file. Now our artwork is in label mark. I'm going to center it and now we're going to size it. Today we're not going to engrave at 417 by 464. So we're going to engrave at 150 by 150. Just make sure that you guys have this lock unlocked, otherwise it will size it to proportion. Now that that's done, just click here, there's a little thing here that will send it straight back to the page. There's your artwork. Once that's done, you're gonna have your artwork selected. You're gonna go H for hatch. Now that we've got the artwork where we want it to be, the whole objective of this is to create different styles of fiber lasering using the same artwork. And we're gonna be doing that by playing around with our settings. So the first settings we're gonna have done here is this number represents how many times it's going to loop. For the first test, we're gonna go one, we're gonna do a thousand millimeters per second and we're gonna have it at 75% power, and the frequency kilohertz is gonna be at 30, and pulse width at 10. Off-light delay is at 100, end delay is at 50, and corner delay is at 80. We're gonna be using Chromadec sheeting, and the reason behind that is that Chromadec has a white base coat on, which we're going to be lasering off to reveal the steel coating underneath, and the reason we're doing that is also with all the different settings, we're gonna get different depths, different effects caused by the white base coat. You have to press red just to outline where your artwork's going to be. So now that I've framed my, my sheet for where my artwork's going to be engraved, 
um, we're going to have to focus this laser. And as you can see, that there's a triangular marking here. Now, there's two lasers that will come off and on. This is where your laser will actually start engraving from that laser. These are your two markers. We're going to have to turn this wheel up so that these two match up with that third one as close as possible for the laser to be focused. And if it's not, we'll come and do small slight adjustments until we get the perfect laser. Now it just looks like one big dot, but if you look closely, you'll see that there's still spacing in between it. Um, and that's something that you do want. Obviously, the closer the better, you'll get a more concentrated laser and effect done. And now we're going to mark out our artwork on the fiber laser. But before you guys go ahead and start your laser engraving, make sure your continuous mark is deselected because it will null and void the number of relays that you guys have marked up on your right hand side of the program. So if it's on a three loop and you have your continuous mark on, it's going to continuously just keep on engraving. And you don't want that if you've got your settings required that you want. Now that that's all done, you're gonna to have to press mark or hit your F2 key on your keyboard. Okay, so now as you can see that it is engraving, but you can't really hear it. And what you kind of want is a nice loud, bright light over here. Um, and as you can see that it's not really that deep, but you can hear, the more I focus it, the louder it will get. That sounds and looks about right. And for the second one, I'm just gonna downsize it and change the settings. We're gonna create a two loop one. We're gonna have it at, let's say, 900 millimeters per second. We're gonna have it at 65% power and we'll leave the frequencies as it is at the moment. And let's continue.
And for the third one, I'm going to downsize it once again, just to show how much concentration and detail the fiber laser can create. So we're going to go quite small with this. We're going to go 50 by 50, which will do three loops at 1000 and we'll have it back at 75% power and we'll change the frequency to let's say 35 and we're going to rehatch all of this so we're going to change the hatch style to let's do this circular square one Okay, so the difference between these three that we did now on the fiber laser is that the first one obviously you can see is quite uh, light in color. It doesn't really have a deep texture to it, doesn't have a deep feel. Um, then with the second one you can see that there's more contrast, um, it's got higher detail due to the fact that it's deeper on it. And then when we went to the small one, it was it looped over three times allowing it to fiber laser away all of the white making it very high contrast and very detailed and then what we decided to do is that we flipped over the chroma deck to try out some more settings and uh, what we did here is that we didn't hatch the image on one of them and we then hatched the image without an outline as you can see there's a lot of different effects and for a lot of different applications and in this video, I'm going to leave you guys a chart with the settings we used for the fiber laser.